Alright guys, the Lewis structure of the chlorate anion, that's ClO3 minus. Number one, how many electrons does each bring? Chlorine brings seven each, oxygen brings three each. Total those up, you get 25, but you have to add one because the charge on the ion itself is minus one. That means we have 26 electrons we gotta place here. I'm gonna put chlorine in the center, and three oxygens around it. Check. Now let's put our electrons in here. First two, and four and six go between the central atom and the outer ones because you need electrons there. That's six total. Fill your outer uh, atoms with a full octet. Two, four, six. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. We still need to place two more electrons even though our outer atoms are filled. So we put two on the chlorine. Now, this may look like it's okay, but chlorine can have an expanded octet. The way that you know that is because it's not in the second row. Anything other than C, N, O, or F can have an expanded octet. The reason, if you care, is because there's an extra orbital called, or an extra subshell called the 3D subshell as soon as you get to the third row. But you don't care, you just want the Lewis structure, right? You need to consider something called formal charge here. And the formal charge is the number of electrons that the atom brought minus the number of electrons that the atom has. This oxygen brought six electrons with it, and right now it has one, two, three, four, five, six seven electrons around it. One for each of the lone pair electrons because those belong to the O only, and one for each bond because we assume each atom here gets the equivalent of one electron. So the formal charge on this oxygen is minus one because it has seven, but it need, or uh, sorry, it, need, it brought six, but it has seven. Damn. The formal charge on this oxygen is minus one for the same reason. The formal charge on this oxygen is minus one for the same reason. Chlorine brought seven. It currently has one, two, three, four, five, which means it has a formal charge of plus two. Now it's not favorable for an, uh, an ion or molecule to have a separation of formal charge like this. If you have a plus charge and a minus charge right beside each other, you're supposed to do whatever you can to alleviate that. What we can try to do here is move a couple electrons from one of the oxygens, create a double bond. Once we do that, the formal charge here becomes zero. The formal charge here becomes plus one. Notice this oxygen now has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons around it. That's how many it brought. The chlorine has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. That's one fewer than it brought. We still have a plus and a minus beside each other, and we're still allowed to move two electrons into the bond. That gets rid of that formal charge and lowers the formal charge of this to zero as well. The only reason we're allowed to do this is because chlorine can have an expanded octet. And so, the final structure of this is chlorine with a single bond to an oxygen chlorine with a double bond to an oxygen, chlorine with another double bond to an oxygen, and a lone pair also on the chlorine. Check it out. Now, just to be super thorough, and your teacher may or may not require this of you, resonance structures, because we don't know whether the double bond formed with this O or this O or that O and that O, we just don't know. So we have to rewrite our chlorine with a double bond to the top O instead. And we're supposed to draw it with double bonds to the top O and the left O instead. See how I'm just shifting around where my double bonds are? That's because the O's are basically equivalent here. This is called resonance and it's the moving of electrons from one bond to another what it really just shows is that each of the oxygens is equivalent. It's not like 
these two, it's not like two of the bonds in this ion are shorter than another. All right, that's the Lewis structure for ClO3 minus. Notice we had to use formal charge to agree on it. And if you need resonance structures, these are them. Last note, your teacher may require you to put this in square brackets with the charge of minus one. And there's my alarm, take care.